hele mooi. En ik heb een klein um, bezigheid wat skinny la minks genoemd is. Ik was werken als een illustrator. Ik was ook ook writing comics, had een job writing comics at the time. And I took a half day job doing the comics and had some studio space where I would play with fabric screen printing and doing paper cuts and that kind of thing. And I started blogging about what I was doing. I opened an online shop. People started buying it. I got wholesale orders from America. It just kind of got a life of its own and I scrambled to keep up. Um, and then within the last few years, I've taken on a business partner as things have grown. Um, we have a wholesale business. We supply stores all over the world, from Japan, uh, States, Australia, Europe, even Hawaii. <laughs> and um, a shop here in Cape Town and two online shops. And we sell fabric for furnishing. It's a uh, lot going on. Um, lots of fun. <laughs> there are lots of people doing fabric design. But it's actually not that easy to keep going. In the last few years, um, a number of textile mills have closed, so the, there's less and less choice of what fabric you can print on. Uh, printing factories, ca factories keep closing down. So I don't know if that's really true, that South Africa and um, textiles go together particularly well. But there is certainly a lot of great design coming out of here, and it would be really nice to see the textile industry strengthening. I find the South African public very um, eager to buy local. Um, I feel like that message has really spread in the last few years. People are excited by things that are made locally. They feel, um, I don't know, they feel like that everything's going right because they can get, and they like to support local business. I like to think that the things I design are not specifically South African. They're not geared towards a specifically South African market, but I'm very happy that South Africans like them. My inspiration, it's hard to say. I, I like to, I like to do lots of things. I draw all the time. I, I love to go to um, car boot sales, Milton Market, find old things, um, water the garden, um, look at the holes in a piece of cheese. It's everything, really. It's, uh, I think once you start designing and looking for ideas, and especially if you draw a lot or take photographs, you start to notice a lot more. And um, so inspiration, it's all around, easy, easy to find. <laughs> I don't know what's trendy. I, I don't, I keep some eye on what's going on out there, but I'm, as far as I'm concerned, if you can see some things that trend, it's already over. It's, you know, everybody spotted it. They're all doing it. It's all done to death. I'm more interested in just what I like. Um, for a long time, I've been interested in fabrics and designs from the 50s and the 60s. Those have now become trendy, but I just liked them before, so I have no idea. <laughs> do people like to mix and match? They do, um, and good on them. I'm, I'm not a decorator. Uh, I think if people have got opinions on how to put things together, they should go with it. I mean, the more they do it, the better they'll get. Uh, they'll make mistakes, but off they go. Why not? I think you can get away with a lot if you're dealing with quality to start off with. So if you're mixing and matching a bunch of pillows that are maybe made of a horrible fabric, uh, something cheap, something that's badly made, or I think you're, you're already going very wrong. But I think if you do something with um, where your attention is on how good the item is and you do it with confidence, it's probably going to work. Our web presence is very strong. Um, I do a lot of Instagramming. Uh, there's Facebook. And all of that is under skinnylemmings.com. And then there's also a real life shop at 201 Bree Street in Cape Town and an online shop for South Africans at shop slash, oh, how's it? shop.skinnylemmings.com.